right to another shooter because Joe is going to hand that headset off to Patty Mills now in his second season in Brooklyn. How are you, Patty? Can we get this guy Pat to wrap it up or what? Yeah. Lo loves uh, a chat. You know what? I, I feel like his last comment was explaining you to a T. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. The indispensable you know, winning type of player that you just need to get over the hump. You know what it means to be that guy, Patty. You've been that guy on a championship team with the Spurs. Yeah, been been through a lot and experienced a lot, um, not only with the San Antonio Spurs, but, um, you know, our national team and Australia being able to go to many World Cups and Olympic Games. Um, I think it's just understanding what the um, meaning and purpose of what you're trying to do and how to do it to be able to accomplish something is the main thing here. And, um, you know, it's, it's one of the main reasons why I can came here, my ability to, to be a leader uh, from a team aspect and, and what it takes to be able to bring a team together, understand that culture, build that culture um, in the hopes of winning an, an NBA championship, which is what, why we're here. Well, Patty, we are thrilled. We're thrilled you're sitting here next to us because we weren't sure if that might be the case when you're looking at this off season and to think about uh, everything that, that you, that your team endured throughout the course of last season and then the uncertainty of this summer. But for you personally, what, why was it to come back here? Why? Why, why was Brooklyn the place that, that you decided this is where you wanted to, to return to? Yeah, good good question. And I think that the reason um, was what it was when I first came here. Um, and that was the opportunity to be a part of creating a, a Brooklyn Nets culture um, and, and continue to build that. Um, but also, you know, still putting in the work to be able to achieve an, an NBA championship. And I think having a, a, a year under my belt um, and experiencing all of those things um, for me it was just unfinished business so nothing really changed um, it was just one year under our belt and we got to keep chipping away um, the thing that I've been saying is um, Rome wasn't built in a day and um, you know it's the same sense here with the Brooklyn Nets um, so being able to continue chip away about building this thing um, to not only create a, a culture that is strong for us in the present to be able to hopefully win an NBA championship but a, a long lasting one too that you know will hopefully you know fussy long into the time that we're retired and, and hung, the, hung the boots up. Patty what was the process like or what has the process been like of sort of reunifying the group in the aftermath of an uncertain off season, in the aftermath of a disappointing end to last year where it felt like everybody was ready to go, you know, their separate ways and at least for a period of, of reflection and and exhalation. What what has it been like now just trying to get everybody back, unified, same page to go on this journey? Yeah, well, well, we're here. We're here at Media Day um, for this next season, um, and I think that that's the first step. But I think what we do have is um, the guys in the locker room who have been through what we went through last year, and knowing that we're back here for for the next year, we've had that, um, we've got that under our belt now. To um, you know have a revenge of getting that bad taste out of our uh, out of our mouth um, I think the adversities that we went through last year um, you know it, it's things about how you uh, learn from those things how do you grow from those things how you know what position are you going to put yourself in to make sure that those things don't happen again so um, definitely going out the way that we did um, you know is, is never a good feeling uh, and definitely wasn't uh, the mutual feeling uh, for everyone here um, but we have another opportunity to um, you know put that in the bank um, and do everything we can to make sure we don't feel that ever again so it's all things that start in the locker room off the court um, on the buses on the planes um, all the fun stuff that I think that we do to try and bring the, the team closer and closer together from a team aspect uh, again it's bringing that meaning meaning and, and purpose to what we're trying to do here what do you take away and especially you individually from last season because I know there was so much that you couldn't have anticipated but for you career high in minutes the usage, the roles, and just all that was asked of you. I know you're the ultimate pros pro and will do anything the team needs, uh, but just the amount of responsibility uh, physically. Uh, yeah, weren't it, you it was tired, Pat? <laughs> we were tired watching you. <laughs> like, he doesn't ever stop. Wh what was that like for you and just how you were able to take something from that? Yeah, there was definitely a stage there where, where I was a bit cooked. Uh, <laughs> but um, look, it, it's, it's one of those things, right, when you understand um, what you're playing 
for, um, who you're playing for, what guys you have in the trenches with you that you want to go to battle with. Um, I, I think that it, it, it's whatever the team needs, you, you'll do. Um, and, and I think that's the mindset that I had going into last year and, and the same again. Um, but, but last year was a good learning lesson from that standpoint of whatever is, is, um, is needed and whatever is asked of you, go out there and, and do it to the best of your ability. It's like what you get told when you're eight years old, you know, just do it to the best of your ability. Um, so for me last year to, to have the start um, or three quarters of it um, and then, you know, my mindset changed to, to the team and how we can continue to try and bring this um, team closer. So that definitely took an, an impact a little bit, but one that, you know, it, it is for the betterment of the team. I, I think that's the main thing here, you know, the, the decisions that you make that is for the betterment of the team, what's going to make the team better, how it's going to make the team better. Um, it is the values that I've kind of um, been built on. So to bring that here and, and um, you know, to try to offload that as, as much as I can or, or trickle that throughout the, the group, I think is important. How about your relationship with Ben? I mean, a lot was made of that last season, Patty, and now we just heard from him. He's ready to go. He's ready to step on the floor and impact this team. What has been your role of just trying to, you know, help shepherd his transition here to Brooklyn and, and his transition back to the floor? Yeah, it's um, it's a very good relationship from the standpoint of, of stars being able to line for us to share a locker room together for the first time. Um, I supported him from a, from afar, but now have the opportunity to, to share the court with him um, it is important. So, look, I, I think my role first and foremost um, is, is to be supportive um, of, of him as a person. Um, you know, his, his well-being, um, I think, is number one uh, before Ben, the basketball player, comes into the picture. Um, to support him that way, to know that he has um, teammates and people uh, that are close to him, that, that care about him, that, that genuine care, um, that's been me from afar for a very long time now. Um, but now I get to do it in, in the locker room. Um, and, and now when you talk about now working out together on court or being in the, the weight room together and, and lifting the banter that comes along with that, <laughs> Um, I, I know he's in a, a very good place. Uh, he's in a hungry place. Um, I've been wanting to play one-on-one -on -one against him for a long time now. So uh, by the time I asked him the other day if he's ready, he's like, I'm ready to play one-on-five. <laughs> so um, he, he, he's in a great place. And, um, you know, the, the most important part, that is a healthy mind, which I think plays a, a big part in his, um, in his approach. Who wins on a one-on-one -on -one game? Me, for sure. <laughs> Not even a question. <laughs> <laughs> well, Patty, we are, well, oh, you have something I else have you want to go more. to there, Sarah? Uh, no. Obviously, yeah. Becky Hammond. Yeah. Winning the WNBA championship yeah, moves the voice of, but yep. obviously very familiar with your, your days at San Antonio. Uh, just what were your thoughts on that and seeing what she accomplished in her first season? Yeah, it, it was um, so pleasing to see. So, um, you know, uh, happy for her to, to, you know, accomplish um, something incredible, um, but also not surprising at the same time. Um, you know, she was great um, in being able to help me in, in little parts in, in San Antonio all that time, but you could always see that that whenever she got an opportunity to, to drive the ship and be in charge of the ship, that she was going to do it to her full potential with, um, you know, a, a group that obviously, um, you know, done the perfect job for us. So um, it was it was really great to see and, and very happy for her. Thanks, awesome man. stuff. Well, Patty, we so appreciate you giving us some time. Welcome back to Brooklyn for uh, two more years, and, and good luck as you start this journey. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks for having Patty. me. All right, that's Patty Mills. Plenty more to come here. Nets Media Day 